guys, come get ready with me while I answer all of your questions. It feels like literally ages since I filmed any type of get ready with me video. I miss this setup. I miss talking to you guys in like a full on get ready with me video. But today's video is actually not only just a get ready with me and a Q&A. This video is also technically like a 100k special. Uh, what? We hit 100k on YouTube? That's literally insane. There's 100,000 people subscribed to me that watch my videos. That's crazy. I'm also going to try to give you guys advice. I'm going to help you guys. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on your questions. I put up a poll on my Instagram story so you guys could ask me questions. And it's safe to say, you guys literally went crazy with questions. Let's get into this little get ready with me. I'm going to be using some of my favorite makeup products today. And then also going to obviously answer your questions. Sit down, grab a snack, grab a coffee. Also, since you guys love to roast me on my makeup videos about my headband, I finally got a new one. She's nice and clean. She's not gross anymore. I feel like I probably should have like screenshot it what questions I was going to answer before this. I didn't. I just some winging it. The first question I'm going to be answering is, do you have any makeup tips? This isn't really a full on makeup tip. I will say something I've learned is that my makeup always applies better if I do good skincare beforehand. Key to having good makeup, especially if you're doing base makeup, is to have your skin be super prepped. Especially with today's makeup where I'm going to be putting on more makeup than normal. I am really gonna prioritize my skin prep. Okay, another question I got is what was it like starting YouTube? That's an interesting question. For sure, if you don't know, I've been doing YouTube for, I would say a little over six months now. I started my channel, I think back in March of last year. I didn't really start consistently posting until the summer. So it's been about six-ish months now. And in six months, I've grown about 100,000 followers on YouTube. That is so insane. But for me, starting YouTube was something that I was really, really scared of for a long time. I knew that starting YouTube was something that I wanted to do. Also, I've never tried this before and I'm really excited to try this. I knew you mouth. That was disgusting. As I was saying, I knew YouTube was something I wanted to do. People always told me that I talk a lot. So <clears throat> that is disgusting. People love to see my like TikToks where I talk. So they were like, oh my gosh, Noelle, start a YouTube channel. Noelle, start a YouTube channel. I think the reason why ultimately I was so scared to start was afraid of what other people were gonna think and have to say about me doing YouTube, which in the end, if you think about it, is literally so stupid. Even if someone talks crap about me, it's really not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. At the end of the day, YouTube has brought me so many opportunities and I'm so grateful and I love it so much. And if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I 100% say go ahead and start it. At the end of the day, their opinion doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. I love you, but you've got to move right now. This is not the time. I literally can't with that cat, I swear. Another question on the topic of YouTube I got is when did you start recording videos? I started YouTube last March. I've been making content for a while now. I actually started in 2020 with a little like aesthetic account. <sighs> little of me way back then in 2020. Started that account during the peak of quarantine. I remember being so... <coughs> I remember being so thrilled when I hit a thousand followers because I was like, oh my gosh, I can go live now. Going into 2021, I actually started my Instagram account and I posted reels and stuff and I like blew up there a little bit. And then in the end of 2021, I started TikTok. My accounts kept getting banned, right? So I had, I think like three or four different TikTok accounts, almost three years of me doing TikTok. And then obviously I started YouTube. So that's my little spiel with that. Another question I got is how do you deal with stress? That is an amazing question. <laughs> I'm going to be hundred percent honest with you. I suck at dealing with stress. Stress management is something that I feel like I've never been good at. I feel like I'm constantly stressed about something in my life. I've kind of had to come to terms with the fact that if it's meant to happen, it's gonna happen. And if it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. Which is so hard to just realize. If you can learn to grasp that, it helps so, so much. I also think that a big part of that is trusting in God's timing and knowing that God has the ultimate plan for you. He's not gonna let you down. Knowing that God's by my side and then he's like rooting for me helps me to be less stressed, I think, a lot of the time. Okay, for the next question, someone asked me what my opinion on bows are. <laughs> I feel like this is such a random question. It's kind of silly, so I want to answer it. I'm assuming they're referring to the whole bow trend that's going viral on like Instagram and TikTok right now. I really like the bow trend. I think it's really cute. And one thing about me is I will be putting bows in my hair and I have no shame about it. The next question I got is what is my first kiss story? I've never actually had my first kiss. I feel like most people by my age have had multiple kisses. And I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like kissing is something that people like don't make it as special as it should be. I don't want to just like kiss someone to kiss someone, you know, like I want it to be special. I want the person that I kiss to be someone that I'm like actually dating or someone that I can see myself dating. I have not had my first kiss. So no first kiss story here yet. 
I know a lot of girls probably feel pressured to have their first kiss by a certain age. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never felt pressured. You won't die. You'll be fine. I assure you, you will survive. That's something that people are, I feel like, usually kind of surprised about. What can you do? I got this new e.l.f. blush from Target the other day, and I low-key want to try it. So I think we might test her out. She's supposed to be a dupe for the Rare Beauty blush. I can get it open. Hello. Okay, that took way too long to open. I literally had to go to my bathroom and get a towel and open it. For my next question, someone asked me what advice I would give to high schoolers. Here are my tips. Listen up. I'm so such an academic weapon i wish but i do think as someone who's in high school i do have something to offer here so i will give you what tips i think i do have i don't know if that's too much blush or not so we'll see make a list of all the homework you have whether that's getting a planner writing down sticky notes or using your notes app i usually just use my notes app because i tend to like forget to write things in a planner. I've learned that if I can write my stuff down, then I'm more likely to remember to actually do my homework. Another tip I have is to take classes that will help further you academically, but also make sure to take at least one class that will be your easy class. I mean, this year, just to like, give you a little rundown, I'm taking two APs, two honors, a language, and then I have to take driver's ed slash gem, and then I have to take art as my sequential to graduate. So for me, art and gem are like my two easy classes. Even next year, when I don't have to take like a sequential or our gym next year i still will be taking at least one easy class because i kind of just know that it's something that'll give me a break throughout the day also another thing i would say is don't go into high school expecting to keep the same friend you had in middle school transitioning from middle school to high school i lost friends and i also gained new friends and i also kept some of the same ones don't expect to keep all of your friends and have your friend group stay the exact same but that being said don't stress about friendships in high school another question i got asked is gold or silver jewelry For that i would say just take a look and guess I'm definitely a gold girly. Another question someone asked me is Team Conrad or Team Jeremiah. And if you don't know what that's referencing, they're obviously referencing the show, The Smart Turn Pretty. I really love that show. If you've read the books, you've got to go Team Conrad. Yes, Jeremiah may be the hotter brother, but Conrad is the better option. And I stand by that. If you know, you know. How to stay motivated even when you don't feel like doing anything. I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I do feel like it's really hard to stay motivated. At the end of the day, a lot of times I will just force myself to do things because I know that I'm not going to motivate all the time and i think that's something that's kind of important to realize is that you're not gonna be motivated all the time and especially with running like after a full day of school or a full week of school a lot of times i'm super drained and i just don't feel like going for a run or going to practice i think a lot of the time it's kind of just holding yourself accountable like yeah i'm not motivated to go run but i know that i have goals i want to achieve and i know that i want to become faster and become better the only way to become better is to just hold yourself accountable regardless of if you're motivated although another big thing that helps with not necessarily motivation but just getting things done caffeine Okay, next up, someone asked me what my favorite book in the Bible is. That's such a hard question for me to answer because I literally love so many books in the Bible, obviously. If I had to choose, I'd probably pick Proverbs. Next question I got is, what is your favorite compliment? I feel like that's such a sweet question to ask because, you no, know, compliments are just a nice thing to give. One of my favorite compliments personally to receive is not necessarily a physical compliment. You remind me of Jesus or you radiate Jesus or like you're so kind, like something like that. Like personality compliments are just top tier, I think, honestly. The next question is, do you have a boyfriend? I do not at the moment have a boyfriend. I don't know if you could tell by my answer of first kiss, but I do not have a boyfriend. Along with that question comes, have you you ever had a boyfriend i've had what i would say to be near boyfriend experiences in the past basically i've had like middle school relationships where it's like like you guys both like have crushes on each other you date for like two months and then you break up and it's just like no one cares but i don't really count those so technically i've never had a real boyfriend in my opinion if you count middle school relationships i guess i have but i don't count that <laughs> i think a big part of wanting a boyfriend and getting a boyfriend is just waiting for the right person i'm not just gonna date someone because i like them i feel like if I date someone, they need to meet, like, obviously all my standards. And I've seen throughout many of my friends where they dated someone and then they thought he was a good person and then they just, he just didn't meet their standards. As as much as it's looked down upon, I think having high standards is really important because in this generation, people can be a little questionable. The next question I get asked is... What is your favorite candy? I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a big candy person, but if I had to pick a favorite candy, it would definitely be Reese's. I love Reese's Peanut Cups, specifically like the shaped ones, like the holiday ones where it's like an Easter eggs or the Christmas trees. Chef's kiss. Something about the peanut butter to chocolate ratio is just so much better than just some plain little Reese's. The next question I get asked is, what is your biggest fear or like phobia? My fears are so irrational. I am afraid of like literally the dumbest things to probably be afraid of. For literally no rhyme or reason, I'm so afraid of spiders. I don't know what it is, but something about a spider, ugh. not only do spiders scare me, but they like give me the ick in the most unexplainable way possible. I don't know how to... 
I can't. Another really irrational fear I have is like heights. I'm really afraid of heights for some reason. I can do heights to a certain extent, but once it reaches the point of like driving on a bridge, like almost driving on a bridge over top of water, like that's too high. Like what if the bridge breaks? I sink and I drown. Another question I get asked a ton is what do you want to be when you're older or like what's your dream job? Okay, I have two answers to this. Obviously my dream, dream, dream job, which is like the unrealistic one, is to continue just being an influencer for all my life. But I know that making videos and posting on TikTok and like YouTube and stuff is such a unpredictable thing. Like it's never a certain thing. But my realistic dream job is I want to go and become some type of engineer. I'm really leaning towards either biomedical or biochemical right now. I feel like I've always really liked science and math and like STEM things over top of like over English and like history. Okay, the next question I got asked is do you want any more piercings? I 100% want to get at least one more piercing. As of right now, the only piercing I have in my body are just my like first hold on my ears, which I love so, so much. I love wearing earring. I feel like everyone I know has their second piercing and I want it so badly because layering earrings just ugh, so cute. I'm pretty sure that I also want to get up here my cartilage pierced. However, I really can't envision myself getting like my nose pierced, my belly button pierced. I really don't see that in my future for myself personally. Next question I got is, are you an only child? The answer to that is no. I have a little sister. She makes her appearances in some of my videos sometimes. Another question I get asked all the time is, how do I edit my videos? I edit my videos on CapCut desktop. So if you're going to start YouTube, I recommend using some sort of computer to edit because otherwise your phone just won't be able to handle it. Also, I get asked a lot what camera I use. I use the Sony ZV-1F and I'm obsessed with the camera quality. This camera is so good. It has such a good autofocus, which I love. Although I do recommend if you're going to buy a camera, I extra batteries and like a battery charger. I'm currently scrolling through these questions and literally all I see is people asking about like relationships and boys and stuff and I'm like, like boy drama, mini boy tea, um, do I? Will I be sharing it? Nah, no. Someone asked me what my favorite food is and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know, that's such a hard question to answer. I do really love sushi and then also I love like smoothie bowls and stuff, acai bowls, so good. I'm a huge pickle girly. One thing about me is I will be eating up some pickles. But that concludes my get ready with me slash get to know me video. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and I hope this video helped you to get to know me a little bit better and I hope I helped you out maybe. So let's head out and see what it's given. Ugh. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and then also subscribe but hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for 100k that is so crazy i want to do a giveaway sometime soon and i hope you guys have an amazing day bye guys